Hey, what's going on, guys? So, a lot of people have been coming into the stream lately asking about the pylon rune for Zombie Charger. Asking if it's good, if it's viable, what I think of it. Uh, so I want to make a quick video just to kind of show you exactly what I do think of it. We're going to run on Torment 3 for this particular video simply because I'm not, uh, I'm not terribly confident with the ability just yet. It's actually one of the more difficult abilities to use for a Witch Doctor. This is the rune right here. Uh, summon a tower of zombies that falls over, dealing 800% weapon damage as physical to any enemies it hits. So this is what it looks like right here. It has a pretty long range, but the width of it is very, very small. So it can be really easy to miss if you're not careful. Uh, so it's definitely an ability that you need to practice with quite a bit if you want to run it. But you need to try to maximize your build to, uh, to cater to it. So I'm running Wall of Zombies Wrecking Crew to kind of taunt everything in and, and group them up. When Reaper of Souls hits, it's going to be much easier to do that with the Piranha Tornado. But we don't have that currently, so this is the next best thing. And it works pretty well for what we're trying to do. So we're going to do that. Our main um, way to get mana back is going to be Spirit Barrage. So if we're having, you know, if, we, if we've if we been spamming Pylon and we're at almost out of mana, we're going to spam some Well of Souls Spirit Barrage with the Rush of Essence passive. Uh, we're going to run some Grave Injustice as well for some cooldown reduction more than anything. And a Blood Ritual for a little bit more, uh, little bit more help with our mana. As far as Spirit Walk goes, Honored Guest, again, more mana regen, Rain Dance for uh, Elite and Champion packs. That way on Elite and Champions, we can just spam pile on over and over and over. Uh, we're going to run Vengeful Spirit. We're running some Life Steal with this build. So Vengeful Spirit is pretty much a uh, instant heal, which is really nice. Also, it's off cooldown all the time with Grave Injustice, uh, which, you know, 630% weapon damage is, is not a joke. So that's the build. As far as gear goes, we're not wearing much that isn't Legacy. We're rocking a four-piece Zuni set uh, for that extra mana regen and mana per kill. We're rocking a Strife Blitz here with uh, attack speed, crit damage, and lifesteal. So we, do, we are running lifesteal in this particular build. As far as new items go, uh, in patch 2.0 items are Seven Sins. Uh, a pair of Black Thorns that I dropped the other day that are pretty nice, nice EHP on those. And then a uh, pair of Bracers. Now, I would rather run a pair of Bracers with physical damage for the Pylon Rune, but uh, this is the next best thing. At least it's cold damage for the Spirit Barrage. So, if I had a pair of physical Bracers, I would wear them. Uh, as far as our Paragon goes, I needed a 13% movement speed for this particular build. I only have 12% from gear, and then the rest into Intelligence. Offense, I went Crit Chance, Crit Damage. Uh, defense, I needed all resist, which you'll see in the majority of my builds. Most of my builds, I need all resist. That's just how my gear is set up. Your gear may be set up differently than that. And we're going to go life percentage next. Utility for this one is resource cost reduction and then area damage. So that's the setup. Um, let's go ahead and go farm a little bit. Again, this is just going to be Torment 3 for this video. I'm pretty sure that the build could at least do Torment 4. But again, I have really not played it too much. Um, I've played it enough to really tell that it's good, more than anything. This pack is a little bit sketchy. A little bit careful here. Also remember too, with Wrecking Crew, Wrecking Crew is more for just white mobs for the most part. Uh, the Wrecking Crew is not going to taunt Elite and Champion packs. But it's really a pretty good ability for having to kite a lot. I mean, it really is. As far as the Zombie Charger runes... It's probably one of the better ones for kiting, I would say. I mean, zombie bears, it's pretty hard to beat. But the thing about zombie bears, you know, you don't, you don't have the, uh, you know, zombie bears is pretty much like cone in front of you. It's a much larger radius. So you don't have to worry about too much about positioning and making sure that, uh, you know, each hit counts. With this, you got to be really careful about exactly where you place your, your pylons to make sure that uh, you maximize your damage. So again, we'll just uh, Wrecking Crew them up, and then drop some zombies. The wrecking Crew really, white mobs are pretty easy to fight. The uh, tricky stuff comes into play with Elite and Champion packs. If we had Paranado, it would make it much, much easier. So we'll go down to the Cathedral level 4 here real quick. Mess around in there. 
But I mean, elite champion packs, the ones that move around a lot or teleport around or do whatever, are made much easier with running Well of Souls with this Spirit Barrage. You're gonna see Well of Souls Spirit Barrage with Rush of Essence in a lot of builds. Um, it, it's pretty easy to just run that setup as kind of like your uh, your mana regen ability and your single target damage, and then run whatever kind of mana spender you want to run, uh, you know, on your right click. Uh, see people run an Acid Cloud, Corpse Bomb, of course, uh, Zombie Bears, Pylon for this build. There's a lot of different things you could run. Even Explosive Beast, that Zombie Charger rune isn't bad. I've messed around with that a little bit. In fact, I'll probably make a video of that at some point. I really do like the Wrecking Crew in this build, though. I think, uh, I think it's very necessary to make sure you maximize your Pylon. Also, this build is really good in a group. Uh, when you have a group set up properly where, you know, they're, they're taking care of uh, grouping things up for you, it makes Pylon way, way better. For instance, if you're running with a Cyclone Strike Monk, Pylon becomes extremely good then. Extremely good. I'm sure this is something that I'll play on stream soon. Um, ever since I got my four-piece Zuni, that's probably... I'll probably be playing a lot of that, but I do want to play this build on stream a little bit at least. Showcase it more. pack was really pretty easy for the most part, you know, wasn't too much to it, had to kite a little bit. That's the nice thing about the rune is it's pretty easy to kite with it. In fact, this is a very mobile build in general. Between Well of Souls and Pylon, you can pretty much just uh, kite as much as you want. In fact, I, I think uh, it's one of its strengths more than anything. So you see how that... Uh, that wall of zombies just kind of grouped them up there for me. It's very, very good. And in fact, I, I really can't imagine running this without the wall of zombies. Makes it way easier. Like I can even I can even like maneuver myself to the side of the wall right there like that to make sure that I can just send the piles down on top of everything. Now again, this is Torment 3, I think Torment 4 would be very easy to do, and with good gear, proper gearing, Torment 5 would probably be doable. But again, you know, just every, every one of you guys that tries to run this particular build, just need to practice it and get better with it. It's, it may end up feeling a little bit frustrating using Pylon at first, just because of the, the way the ability works mechanically, but uh, I guarantee you that after a couple hours of farming with it, you'll, you'll have the hang of it. Alright, piece of cake. Again, a little bit of kiting involved, but uh, honestly I think it makes for a little bit more dynamic gameplay. It's definitely something that I need to fine tune and practice myself getting good at this ability, but I do think it's going to be something that's going to be viable in Reaper of Souls. So I, I thought it was important to put a video out 
Um, I, I think that Euro, for the most part, in the beta, I was watching him run it with uh, the four-piece Zuni set, so he'd have his fetishes out. Stacking physical damage, your fetishes deal physical damage as well. It's a pretty solid uh, tactic from what I saw from him. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked the build. If you got any questions or anything, go ahead and leave a comment. I try to get back to everybody if I can. Um, and that's that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.